What is going on? I'm Zedmont. We're going to do some more Warships goodness here. Now, a couple little tidbits I figured it would worth passing along. This account is my all-rifle account. We're sitting at 15, almost into 16, and we're not quite 24 hours into Warships yet, so pretty happy with that. Would love to hit gold in the first 24 hours, but we'll see if that's going to happen or not. Now, I have been winning a whole bunch and so I started recording a video and then I screwed things up so we deleted it and we're going to start over again. Uh, not because I was losing but because my computer wasn't recording fast enough. So anyways, I have been using two primary attack strategies. I hope to show them both to you but first we're going to show you the tech tree that I've been working with. Now first up, if you have flares I highly highly recommend upgrading them to four otherwise you're going to be wasting gunboat energy and cursing because your flares are expiring because you can't get to the back of a three engine room base. Otherwise, I don't have machine guns, don't have heavies or troop damage. I do have the building damage. I then went and got the extra gunboat energy node. Not sure if that was the right way to go. I've seen a bunch of people go and get boom cannons, but I'm thinking this account is lean and mean and hoping to be a four engine room machine. So I've been using two different abilities for brick just to show you here. If we go back into here, brick is maxed, probably a waste of keys or tokens I should say, probably only need to get her on tick 3 or 4, but I figured, you know what, it was cheap, I had lots of stuff available, so um, I've been using Cluster Grenade a fair bit, and Battle Orders, so what I'm going to show you here is um, an attack using Battle Orders, I believe, let's find a decent time, I can get about 315, 317 with Battle Orders with rifles, you have to be way more cautious to get around mines, I'll show you that here in a second, showing you here, 3 going up the middle, on that right hand side engine room and then battle orders and smoke coming in and just absolutely ignoring the mines round the outside a little bit of a flare tactic around the mines not bad now as far as battle um cluster grenade i should say gonna show you this one this was not terribly terribly well done sat there waiting 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 for far far too long next up i deployed brick on the far right with cluster grenade you don't really want to do that but it wasn't awful so then at this point coming in throwing the f the shock there and then hitting the cluster grenade button i feel like you can throw like six cluster grenades at once for that last engine room just using all of your gunboat energy um i'm not sure if that's a bug or a feature but it feels like cluster grenade is super duper overpowered one other quick quick note that I've seen is my base has been hit by all heavy rush where people try to do like this up the side get that engine room get that engine room and then drop brick and have brick hit that final engine room it doesn't work terribly well because it's a long long walk but there is some potential there and I've tried it out a little bit but it just doesn't feel quite as fast as some other attacks so um, brick battle orders typically about 320 317 brick with cluster grenade I find that it's more like 315 so I've been trying to avoid the cluster grenade as best as I can um, I find that battle orders just a little bit better now in my video yesterday I showed you that you don't need to use any shocks if you're using heavies with battle orders that is not 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 the case whatsoever when it comes to rifles you definitely need to use some shocks as we get all of these dudes out I'm gonna mix brick in that way she's not gonna be out the front need to make sure that that shock blaster does not hit brick because if it does we are going to be in an absolute world of pain now we need to stay the heck away from those shock mines hitting a shock mine right now would be absolutely absolutely terrible and then we're just gonna head on in right about there one more battle orders we're gonna hit a shock mine but I think we've got enough troops that should be able to get up close and personal on that final engine room 315 314 those kind of times are working for my base simply because I've got all of the shock mines placed in a fairly reasonable place we managed to beat our opponent by about nine seconds. They've got to go wide around all of my shock mines and things. Now I might probably would be smart if I was to throw a shock mine about there and then we'll do the, oh, no one will ever see it behind my warships trophy. Um, everyone's going to see it around. Anyways, it doesn't really, really matter. Picking up the wins, hoping to get to gold in my first 24 hours. I think I already mentioned that, but like I said, I just recorded two videos first one was stuttery and laggy so I had to throw it in the garbage so if I've already said that my apologies 
Let's go. Okay. Oh, this is just danger, danger. Now, that shock right there, that... I think that's a Lego shock. I'm like 99% certain that is in fact a Lego shock. So I'm going to go... I don't think I've ever done four boats on this right-hand side before. But I feel like in this instance, it's going to work out. And it's going to work out very, very well as... Uh oh I missed the shock. Of course I missed the shock. Now we're going to be very, very, very light on gunboat energy. And as a result, we are probably going to have massive problems. Now, if you drop your rifles on that one, on that other side with an active flare, you're going to have a very, very, very bad time. I have made that mistake way, way too many times. We are going to have the perfect amount of gunboat energy here. Kind of lucky. Oh, this is not going to go very well, I don't think. We are going to be so gunboat energy starved, and I don't know that we're going to be able to get past that flamethrower at this point. I hate watching rifles just get absolutely burned and murdered, but they do surprisingly, surprisingly well. Like, I totally and utterly screwed that attack up, made a bunch of massive mistakes, but rifles just showing their strengths. And... Attacks like that are why I'm not in gold quite yet. I keep making little tiny mistakes. Should be able to beat a 315 time, but just making those little, little mistakes. So if you've gone all rifles, please hit me up. I have not yet heard of anyone else going all rifles, but I feel like there are definitely people out there. I believe Orion is, so I think I might already be a liar. We're going to use the cluster grenade, and I'm going to show you just how ridiculously amazing it can be. Hopefully, it is so, so, so precarious. Um, trying to mix brick into the middle makes definitely sense, but watch this. This is where things start to get crazy. Now, we get to save some gunboat energy. Don't have to smoke anything, but that just means they've got all of their flamethrowers and all of their microwaver just sitting there waiting to shoot us in the face. So... Here comes the oh-so-important shock, and then just waiting, waiting, waiting. This this base is not laid out very terribly well. Here we go. Here comes the second, and then we're going to just drop all of our gunboat energy into that final cluster grenade. Come on, cluster grenade. Down it goes. You see that? Just absolute beast mode cluster grenade. It does so much damage. Um, I'm not sure if I did one there or multiple, but it's ridiculous just how strong it is we ended up losing by a couple seconds rifles just i think i need to also make a base that would be a great starting point this is just me throwing random things willy-nilly and i have not watched a replay on this base so let's see what people are doing they're coming in with the heavy rush shock mines and all and just cruising through it so i definitely need to put a shock mine behind that cannon right there. I think that's actually the one I just moved. Um, and then we're going to move this shock mine from there up to there, and then just see w how one attack goes. See if that gets, if the next opponent is 314 or slower, because it just feels like I'm making decent attacks. My attacks are not bad, but they're just not good enough to win, unfortunately. So, oh, am I on the cusp? Oh no! A four-engine room base! I have not seen a four-engine room base yet, so this is going to be awful. Um, I, I don't even know what to do. I'm literally drawing a blank here. I have no troops that will work with a th against this many engine rooms, so we are going to throw a smoke there. I am going to flare that engine room. I know I always say don't flare engine rooms. But sometimes you just need to just hope for a miracle. Trying to save ourselves a little bit of gunboat energy by not having to worry about other... Ugh, trying to save ourselves one flare by getting all of those riflemen out there. There we go. And now we've got that one group of rifles out front, which should help us a little tiny, tiny bit. Oh, this is just going to be absolute... There we go. Clear in the mines. That is why that first group of rifles was out there. Come on, hit it with the cluster grenade, and then we're going to head all the way back there. Go, 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 go. Cluster grenade not going to be nearly as effective against four engine rooms simply because they've got way, way, way more health on that engine room. I don't know how much more they have, to be completely honest, but you see that did not even put a dent on it. So Brick's cluster grenade is a great, great thing for right now, but don't go 
putting all your eggs in that one basket. TX Rangers YouTube picking up the loss. I can't even believe we just won against that base. Um, they have more engine rooms. I don't even understand how we won. Let's have a quick, quick peek. So for those of you who were like, man, I didn't... Oh, that's why. You've got warriors. Hey, remember how I said all of the smart peoples will know that there's going to be... That was amazing. But guess what they're going to try and do for our final engine room? Nope. I thought for sure they would be coming in with brick. I guess they went the other way with around brick. So huge, huge upset for us there. I will definitely take that win. So incredibly lucky. That was not good. But like I was trying to say, cluster grenade, four engine rooms, not a thing. Three engine rooms, definitely, but four engine rooms. They didn't even put a scratch on it. So we are going to be doing cluster grenade one more time because there's just... As soon as I see that many mines back there, I know I'm... Actually, you know what? I'm going to avoid those. We're, we're going to do some flan, fancy flaring magic, and I'm going to try to talk. Um, one, two, three. Ugh, I don't even know what to do here. I'm going to flare the engine room and use a shock, simply because it's going to be the only possible, possible way that I think I can get that engine room down in a reasonable amount of time. And then we can send all the rest of our gang over into here, hitting that battle orders, getting all of them running. That flare was not well placed, but so far so good. We managed to be avoiding most of the defenses as we just absolutely crawl in here, popping that final smoke, and then I'm gonna have to like flare back here and then flare around them, and I'm doomed. Just absolutely doomed. So Hopefully you took my advice yesterday and went and got heavies because rifles are incredibly fun. I'm having a blast playing with them and I've managed to get to a reasonable level with them. But as you can see by this video, um, I, it's not super duper effective once you get a little bit higher. So am I going to regret not going back for heavies? Probably. Um, what's my next troop on the horizon? There is nothing for a long, long, long time. So uh, am I going to have to go get warriors or heavies or zookas? Maybe. Um, if you're playing with all rifles, do hit me up in the comments. Let me know what your long-term game plan is. I honestly do not have a game plan at this point. All I know is that that cluster grenade can be fairly darn fun. So we are going to do one more attack, then I'll call it a day, hopefully ending on a winning note. Um, I don't like flaring that right-hand side engine room, so well done for those players of you who are putting your engine room a little bit farther back. That does not work many times, but I, I am just struggling many, many, many times against engine rooms with that that are not easily accessible without a flare. So um, if you are one of those people, let's go one, two, trying to double tap it. Not sure if that will work or not. Let's just see as soon as Brick pops her head out right about now. Down goes, uh oh, there we go. There we go, getting Brick into that final, final engine room. Come on, Brick, come on. I just need one more pop of the cluster grenade. There we go. I feel like you can only double tap it when she's actually in range. I'm not sure if someone has done some testing, please do let me know. But a cluster grenade, don't sleep on it, but then don't start to rely on it too much because as you saw there, once you get into more engine rooms, bad, bad things start to happen. I think we got a win, maybe? I think we were like 311. I don't pay enough attention. I just wait for the screen and then I either curse or I pop myself an adult, adult beverage and in this instance, we're going to get ourselves an adult beverage, it looks like. So, anyways, that is my video for Day 2 of Warships. I am recording it on Day 1 simply because I am skiing again tomorrow morning. Don't be envious because the snow is so, so heavy. It is above 0 degrees Celsius and we are just drenched and wet. But you know what? It's more fun than being at work, I suppose. So I can't complain that, that much. Hit me up in the comments. I got My wife got a pretty sweet picture of me hitting one of the bigger jumps today. So if you want to see that, let me know. Maybe I'll throw that on Twitter later. But otherwise... Thank you very much for coming in, supporting, liking, sharing, throwing code ZEDMOT into your creator code, and I shall talk to you soon. Thanks for coming in. I'm ZEDMOT. Peace. Done.